Hey guys, what is up? It's Laura here, back with another video. So today is a review video. Um, I decided not to make this a short because honestly, there is a lot to talk about. So basically, if you guys haven't heard the news, it was pretty big on TikTok, but I don't know if like other people have heard about it. Basically, I think it was like Tresemme or something got sued for having this ingredient that is actually in a lot of different shampoo companies. So the ingredient is DMDM Hydantoin. H-Y-D-A-N-T-O-I-N. And basically, they are getting sued for that ingredient because it has been said that it actually causes hair loss. Like, your hair becomes, like, thinner, you lose your hair, hair comes out the drain and it's, like, in clumps. Or basically, if you've experienced, you know, hair coming out in probably a decent amount then that is the ingredient that has supposedly done that. So I did find like two brands from when I went to Ulta that didn't have it. So people on TikTok were saying that Shea Moisture does not have that ingredient. I think the main choice didn't have it either. And I'm pretty sure like salon grade like shampoos and stuff don't have it as well. But this is a review on this one because honestly, Main Choice is like kind of a pricier brand. But this is the Shea Moisture. And this is my first time ever even trying Shea Moisture. I have no idea like what their other products are like. But this is the Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Oil. And they have a lot of shampoos that are for like certain types of hair. So this is the Lush Length shampoo with ginseng root and horsetail extract and it does not contain cbd oil or thc um most products that are for like your body your face and stuff like that if they have hemp in it they don't contain thc so you don't have to worry about that you're not going to get high off of the shampoo but this is what my hair looks like after i used it and to give you guys an idea on what my hair type is, I have really, really, like, thick hair. Like, to the point where I break, like, rubber bands. And I only can really use scrunchies to put my hair back. I have, like, super long hair. My hair grows, like, super fast, I swear. I feel like I have to get haircuts, like, every couple of months or something. At least a trim. Um, and it's color-treated hair. Like, I diet probably at least once or twice a year so this I was surprised it's it actually is a pretty like thin shampoo I was thinking it would be thicker but it lathers on pretty good the smell I'm actually like not the biggest fan of because it's got like it kind of smells like eucalyptus which like you would think you know, that would smell fine, but in a shampoo, um, I was not the biggest fan of. So basically what's great about this is that it's got no sulfates, no parabens, no phthalates, no petroleum, no mineral oil, and it's vegan cruelty free. So that is amazing. It's manufactured in the U.S., which is amazing as well. And basically... Once I used it, oh, I guess I'll talk more about the ingredients. So the ginseng root is known for its revitalizing properties. The horsetail extract, which I know it sounds weird, horsetail, like, is that an animal? No, it's actually like a type of plant, which I didn't even know. Known for mineral content and the cannabis sativa oil is known for containing vitamin E and omegas. So it's got for the most part, um, ingredients that I can actually pronounce, which is good. Fair trade. Family founded and operated and a certified B corporation. So basically what I found using this is the shampoo, this one that I've been using, the Dead Sea Minerals and Argan Oil. Oh, actually this con conditioner has it 
two. Dang. Okay. So I won't be using the conditioner or the shampoo. So this, I was like wary at first to use, but after I got out of the shower, after it's like dried and everything, my hair actually looks so healthy. I mean, it's a little bit frizzy, but I still need to like brush it out a little bit. But this area, my scalp actually gets really oily after it's like been a day or two. And I don't know, like recently it's been feeling pretty oily. And I don't know if that was like excess buildup of like this stuff, but this is like the softest my hair has felt in a really, really long time. And I am shook by it. And like my hair feels weirdly stronger than it has in a while. So I feel like this definitely is going to help with the breakage. But yeah, as long as you can deal with the smell, um, I think it's a good shampoo. When I got it at Ulta, I think it was like 10 or $11. So obviously you're paying a little bit more for it. But if you get it at like Walgreens or like Walmart or something, I want to say it's less. I just happen to have like a gift card. So yeah, overall, I would actually say First impressions, it was really good. I'm hoping that once I use it more often, because I usually wash my hair between two to three, every two to three days, that it will keep being great. And I may or may not do an update video eventually on what I thought of the shampoo. So yeah, if you're looking for an option that doesn't have the DM DM hydrant then you can go ahead and use Shea Moisture. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and have a great day.